back to my channel if we haven't even met before. My name is Shiv, hello if you're coming back then welcome. In today's video I am creating this sort of honey monster slash now kind of like bee queen kind of Halloween makeup. I'm trying to switch up my Halloween content this year and make it a little bit more interesting for you guys rather than all of the generic looks. However, I will be definitely doing a vampire so don't you worry. That is coming up. But I wanted to be a bit more creative and just do something a little bit outside the box. I had a little bit of research with this. I just kind of had the idea in my head at work because <laughs> in my main job I work in skincare and we have a cream which has honey in it and I was looking at the advertisement and I thought oh my god I could do a honey monster kind of look and in my head I envisioned like dripping honey and like latex ripping and stuff but then I was like no I want it to be a little bit more glam I googled honey monster and nothing really came up but I was like okay maybe I put like beehives on my face so I googled beehive makeup look and I found like a oh, I found a bunch of pictures to kind of take some inspo from. So this look is mainly like my kind of idea mixed with some inspo just from loads of different artists on the web. Yeah, so this is what I came up with. I actually really like it. The eyes took me forever. I don't know why they just took me so long. This look is actually really easy to do and I definitely think you could do, could do it within like an hour or even less if you're really speedy. I definitely don't think it will take long at all. All. So yeah, I really hope you like this look. If you'd like to see how to create it, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it means the absolute world. There'll be plenty more Halloween videos coming your way, as well as hauls, beauty videos, fashion videos, lifestyle videos, you name it, it's all going on in this channel. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, it's right here. All my Halloween videos and everything will be posted on there, so definitely please check that out. I'd really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's show you how to create this look let's go so here i am no makeup ready to begin so i've just popped on my brows i did it off camera because i just feel like it's just very unnecessary to the look just do your brows and whichever which way you like to do i'm just taking some sticky tape and popping this on the outer corner of my eye to create a night nice crisp edge and then i'm taking the shade tasty from the jeffree star jawbreaker palette it's a quite a rich brown actually and i'm blending this through the crease of my eye i've already primed my lids and everything like that i'm just bending this back and forth so it's nice and smooth then I'm going to go in with this bright yellow shade called Wow, which really is wow. <laughs> and I'm taking this on a teeny little Morphe blending brush and just blending this through the kind of upper crease area, really packing on that colour and building it up just on top of the brown. Then going back in with the brown shade just to intensify it. Now I'm taking this palette from Sleek. It used to be one of my favourite highlighters ever. I'm taking the shade Solstice and applying it on my brow bone and then just re-going over the colours. Then to cut the crease, I'm going to take the Bella Pierre Makeup Base. I absolutely love this. I use it in like every video nowadays. And I'm going to use this to cut my crease. Just applying a very smooth motions through just above the socket if you look forward and you still can kind of see your lid. That's where you kind of want the cut crease to be. Or you can apply a little bit of concealer to the lid, look up, and then it will transfer on where the top of the cut crease shall be. Um, if you want me to do like an in-depth cut your crease kind of video, um, let me know. So Sometimes they don't always work out as best as others. It honestly just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of practice and you will get there. As you can see, I'm just really taking my time with this teeny little brush just to make sure the concealer is nice and smooth. For the lid shade, I'm going to take Primark's Primer Water just to dampen my brush. This shade is stunning. This is Lemon Drop from the Jeffree Store Jawbreaker, Jawbreaker Palette. And I'm going to pack that all on top of the concealer using a MAC 242 shader brush. This is one of my favourite brushes, actually. I use it all the time. And this is just like a really lovely yellowy gold, which is perfect for this honey kind of look. Then I'm taking this glitter liner from Urban Decay in the shade Starfire and using that just to trace along the line of my crease. I'm just going to be a little bit extra and dry it with my hand fan, which is like one my new favorite purchases then i'm going to take this brown liquid liner from nude by nature and use this to draw a wing onto my eye keeping the tape on so it's nice and sharp these eyeliners from nude by nature have a really nice consistency to them the actual formula is so nice i just don't really like the ones for them i feel like the brush is a little bit too firm so if you do end up buying this or have this let me know your thoughts on it um i just don't like the firm wand i like it a little bit more movement peeling off that tape to reveal a nice sharp edge i'm going to take a yellow eyeliner now this one's from nyx and it's called pineapple punch and i'm going to curl my lashes using the super drug eyelash curlers 
Then for mascara, I'm going to take my Revlon Volumazing Mascara. This is actually such a good mascara, I really like it. I'm just going to layering up that mascara. For lashes, I'm taking these ones, which are brand new. I've never tried them, but I love them. They are in the style Paloma, and they are by Land of Lashes. I will link them down below for you. Just popping those on. I never usually include this in the video, but I just wanted to show you, like, me putting on the lashes. Um, I will try and do it in more videos, I promise. Then I'm going to prime my face. I'm taking the Primark Primer Water, giving it a little fan. And then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I feel like this is going to be the go-to foundation for me for all my Halloween videos because it's one of the pa palest foundations I own. Um, and it's just so full coverage that you basically don't need a concealer for it. So I think this is perfect for, like any halloween look really um yeah for me anyway then i'm going to take my anastasia beverly hills stick foundation in the shade mink and use this to add a little bit of cream contouring even though this is like kind of supposed to be a halloween look um i do want to add some shape to the face i'm glad that i did because i feel like it goes with like the brown in the crease and everything and you can definitely like gore this up if you want to and like add like blood and wounds and stuff to your face all of these tutorials just definitely take inspiration from if you don't want to follow the whole thing like that's absolutely fine if you want to do a nude lip with this look if you don't want to cream contour that kind of thing like makeup is so subjective have fun you guys and do whatever you like it is just wipes off at the end of the day anyway after that ramble when i blend it in the cream contour i'm going to take this concealer from la girl this is in the shade porcelain i'm going to highlight and conceal my usual places so under the eyes forehead nose tip of the nose chin then blend it in using my spicy choco beauty sponge just in dabbing motions then I'm going to take this powder from 1 to 2. This is the Perfect Selfie Powder. I've used this a few times recently. I actually really love it. You know, it's very smooth on the skin. It lasts a long time. Keeps your makeup intact all day. Then I'm going to take this um, contour from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Light Contour Kit. I took the shade Java. Use this to contour my face. I'm just taking a little bit of the brown that we use in the crease and running that under the lower lash line and then blending it out with the yellow shade just for a nice blown out look and then i'm gonna take a shimmery eye pencil this is in metallic champagne from one to two and i'm just gonna use that as a base for my inner corner highlight and i'm using the sleek makeup solstice palette which like i said before was like my ride or die back in the day it's so so blinding then i'm going to bronze up the face using my nyx media matte bronzer just in the outer perimeter of my face a little bit down my neck as well and then i'm setting that into place with my primark matte setting spray Now I'm just going to add the highlight onto the high points of my face, so my cheekbones above the brow, down the nose, a little bit above the lip, just to add a nice glow to my face, and I've forgotten how much I love this highlighter, it's so nice. I'm just going to blend out the highlighter using the bronzing brush, and then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to brush through my brows. I'm just going with a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes, just to kind of complete the eye look. Then moving on to lips, I'm going to line them with Max Spice Lip Liner and then for lips, I'm just applying Kylie Cosmetics True Brown Liquid Lip, which is such a stunning colour. I have had this for a little bit, like for a little while and it's kind of dried out a little bit, but it still worked just as well. Um, I could just kind of feel the texture wasn't the same. Um, but you know, when you're a makeup collector, things like that happen, you know, it's okay. I'm sorry if you can hear some like breathing sounds in the background of this voiceover. Um, I'm just trying to calm down my dog. She's being very clingy and annoying, but it's okay. I love her and she's cute and fluffy, um, but she just needs to stay still. I'm trying to record a voiceover dog. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just applying the liquid lip all over my lips. Okay, and you could definitely leave this look like this, have a little party, you know, but we're going to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the Revolution Ultimate Face Paint Palette, and I'm going to take the yellow shade in the palette to map out these kind of like hexagon shapes on my face, because that's where the honeycomb kind of bee-like effect is going to be on my face. I was debating about drawing a bee, but I'm honestly not that good at like... I mean, you can see, like, I'm not the greatest when it comes to, like, drawing tiny little details, like, on my actual face. I'm quite good at eye makeup, but, like, I wouldn't say I'm the greatest when it comes to, like, body art and, like, face paint. Like, I'm still trying and getting there, and doing this really makes my eyes hurt. Um, but what I did is I drew all these hex, like, these octagons all over my face. Is it hexagon octagon? 
hexagon six sides and then i'm just going to fill in the like inside of the edge with some black to add some shading as if it was like going deeper into my skin like a beehive kind of wood just filling that in with a little brush and kind of like blending it in and doing this like strange your eyes so much um and then once i've done that i'm then going just to blend it all in with the yellow so just going on top of the yellow face paint i'm taking some yellow shadow from the jeffree star palette that shade wow and i'm just using that to set the face paint into place and also it kind of like dulls it down and makes it look a little bit more like I don't know, like be like i don't really know so i'm just setting that into place okay and i decided to add another little honeycomb section then i'm going to take a brown just to add some shading i felt like i looked a little bit too cartoony so i took a tiny little pencil brush and added some brown on top of the black and just kind of like blended it and fluffed it in and i feel like this made such a difference to how it looked i probably could have added some shading like on the other side like added some like white or something i just didn't really get around to it um but i definitely could have added some more shading and like played around a little bit but i was honestly too scared that i was going to ruin the look but yeah this is the finished look you guys i really hope that you liked it And this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you like it. I had a lot of fun creating this. It did actually take me a lot longer than I anticipated. And I definitely think, as I said in the intro, that you could definitely do this a lot quicker than I did. I think it maybe took me like two or three hours. But don't forget, I do film on two cameras, my phone and my camera. So it's a little bit like, dush, 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 dush. It takes a lot longer to do anything. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the way this look turned out, especially the eyes. I think they're really cool. You could definitely switch this up if you wanted to. Or you can maybe just do like a reptile kind of look, just switch the colors up for like green and like blues or green and purple that would look really cool but yeah i really like the way this look turned out if you did definitely give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already let me know down below what you're going as for halloween or if you're just staying in like me <laughs> i mean i'm going out the day after halloween does that really count i don't know i shall see you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye